In this video, we're going to take a look at how you pair your Spike Prime with your device. It's really simple, taking as little as three button presses, and let's dive straight in. Here, I've created a really simple program that I want to run on my Spike Prime, but I've not yet connected it. To do so, I'm going to go up to the top left-hand corner of my screen and click on Connect to open the Hub Connection program. I'm then going to turn on my Spike Prime by pressing and holding the Power On button until it makes its noise and lets me know it's turned on. I will then look for my Spike Prime in the list on the right-hand side of the screen. If it doesn't appear, I may need to turn on Bluetooth pairing, which I do by pressing the button on the top. As you can hear, there is a beeping noise to alert you that your Prime is in pairing mode, and then it's a case of choosing the appropriate one from the list. When you've connected your Spike, you'll get a green tick on the screen, your device will make a noise to alert you that you have connected, and the Bluetooth button will now have a solid blue ring around it, denoting that you are successfully connected. If I return back to my program screen, I can now see all of the peripherals that I have attached and the various ports that they are attached to. I have two color sensors attached on ports A and E, two large motors attached on B and D, and two medium motors attached to C and E. F. If I want to know additional information, I can click on the hub connection icon and that takes me into an overview of my Spike Prime hub where I can see exactly which peripheral is attached to which port and I can get a live view of the different data we are receiving from each. If at any point I wish to disconnect my Spike Prime hub, I can do so using the disconnect button up at the top right here. 